My name is Joe Granston, and I have a 16-piece big band. Yep, that's right, 16 pieces. Just like back in the day with the bands of Glenn Miller and Tommy Dorsey, Duke Ellington, Benny Goodman. We swing three to four times a week in front of audiences large and small. We've played together throughout the entire United States, and folks seem to really dig the sound and the vibe of the big band. Most of my band has been with me for the better part of a decade. We all love the freedom and joy of big band music, many of us for different reasons. We are all connected like a family to this music that we love so much. It's that love for music that drives us to make this new recording. We've released CDs before, but this one has a new mission. It's something that means a lot to us. We feel a sense of responsibility to ensure that big band jazz is not only respected historically, but that it also evolves and grows in the minds and ears of a new generation. I have a vision of my grandchildren and their friends dancing in front of a dozen or more horns and really enjoying the sound of swing, just like they did back in the 1930s and 40s. The mission we have, it's a big one. It's not something we could ever approach alone. When I broke down what was needed to make this record happen, I came up with three things, two of which we already have. The first is the music, which speaks for itself. We can cover classics and standards at a very high level adding our own flavor to familiar songs. We also have lots of original music from band members and friends, so there's no problem there. The second is musical talent. When I think of the players in this band, I can't believe how lucky I am to be working with some of the best cats in the country. They don't just show up and sight read. They take risks. They stretch themselves musically every night, and we have a blast together on stage and on the road. The third thing we need, and the one we don't have, is funding. It's very expensive to bring 16 top-notch musicians together for two or three days and record them in a studio with the greatest technology and producers. That's where you can become a big part in the evolution of this music through this Kickstarter. More on that in a minute. Well, you just heard a clip from a gentleman in the organization that I think is extremely important. Not only does he play lead trombone, but he also arranges almost all of the music for the big band. And I believe that it's because of him that we have this very creative identity and an extremely unique sound. His name is Wes Funderburg. How you doing, Wes? What's happening, man? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. So right. tell me, man, what's it like arranging for this band, and how do you feel when these guys play the music that you've written? It's exhilarating. It really is something to behold. Um, I have the opportunity to write music for the greatest musicians in the country. And writing to everybody's individual creativity, uh, unique voices and sensibilities and nuances, um, What's great is that when I bring in a chart for the first time, uh, they have to play what I write. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's been wonderful over the, over the number of years that we've worked together, that you've paid me for every single chart, and it's great. I've opened up a small college fund for my son. Very small. So obviously you've studied this music for a long time. Uh, you're one of the best in the business. Why do you feel that this music is so important? This music is part of American history. It's part of American culture. The music of the 30s and the 40s was the pop music of the day. Guys like Miles Davis and Dizzy Gillespie, J.J. Johnson and Buddy Rich, they all got their start in the big band era. All the bad luck in this town has found me. And now nobody knows how to walk around me. I'm all alone with no one to tell me what that old rocket ain't never gonna give me. Cause when I get low, say, Your band is staffed with some of the greatest jazz educators in the country. And we're all working to preserve this music and pass it on to another generation so they can appreciate the poetry of Cole Porter and Jerome Kern and Johnny Mercer. Plus, it's dance music. It's worth getting excited about. Well put. So I mentioned earlier that you're one of the main reasons why this band has such a unique identity. Yeah. What do you have prepared for us for this upcoming CD? Listen, I've been working hard for the last couple of months. And I gotta tell you, folks, this is going to be one swinging record. I know how to write for this band. This is going to be reminiscent of Frank Sinatra and Count Basie, Stan Kenton, all the way up through Michael Buble and Harry Connick Jr. This band is ready to make its mark in the music world, and we're excited to have you be a part of it. There you have it, folks. Wes Funderburg. So now you know us a little better, and I hope you can see the passion we have for big band music. It's not just about keeping this music alive. It's about preserving what the pioneers of swing taught us and presenting it in a new hip way. We have the music and we have the talent. 
As you look through the sponsor packages and rewards, we hope you're inspired to be the final piece to this puzzle. We've come up with ways to get you an early copy of the record, maybe a seat at the recording session, or possibly even a role as a producer. We're also going to update the rewards page as time goes by. If you're a longtime fan of our band, you know we love you and we always appreciate your support at the venues we play. If you're just discovering the Joe Granston Big Band, I hope you can see what a wonderful opportunity this is. We are so excited to get these songs recorded and to get this album out there for you to enjoy. Thank you for your passion for this unique and enduring music. We appreciate your support so much. I'm Joe Granston, and this is my 16-piece Big Band. <laughs>